Hi guys, and welcome to the Stuff Following Con, and today's video is all about Stuff Fall, and I am going to show you about all the equipment that you need to bring in your bag, and pretty much, yeah. So, I'm going to show you that what the bag you should be looking like, or if you have your own bag, you can do that too. So, let's just move right on along. Okay, so I have this bag right here. This is actually my bat bag. Bat bag. And I, it's like really dirty inside. So I'm not going to show you what this, how big it is inside. It's really deep. And I have to open it up and then hang it. So I'll show you what it looks like. I have nowhere to put it. So, um, I have a... You can put, you have a pocket right here. You can put like your phone, your batting gloves in it. And it has two side pockets to put your bat in. Baseball bat or football bat. So I'm going to show you all the little things. And all my stuff is like been used because, you know, I am a football player. So, yeah. So, um, first thing is a bat. Make sure. You have a bat is on your level and you can hold it. It don't be too light, too heavy. It needs to be just right. And then mine is a 32, 20 ounces and well it's 32 inches so but it's 20 ounces. But if you have like a 19 ounces, you perfect for that. Just make sure you have a bat that is a live pitch bat, a t-ball bat, or any kind of bat. You can have and I do have an, a couple bats I probably will show you in the next video probably next week but mine is really dirty if you could tell mine is very very dirty because I bat on the left side and how you're gonna grip is you're gonna go like this put your two knuckles like like this you're gonna put your well, you can't see my feet, but I usually just put my toe in front and point it up, and then I'll sit, and I go like this, and I go ahead and swing. But if you're a lefty, you're going to have to go like this. So you have your right, you're going to have it like this, put your arm like right here, and then put this arm on top. Then, get set. You swing. Okay, how you butt is you're gonna have your hand right here, this hand, and if if you're a righty, so this is the righty side, and you're gonna have your thumb like right in the middle that has to be like this, like you're pinching it, and you get it set. Make sure you have your back up, I think, and then if you're gonna get ready, you go box. Or both. So, and then if you're lefty, I haven't tried the left side, so it probably won't go good. But you just do the exact same thing, but you switch arms and you get ready. So, that's how you burn. If you want to chuck and you can't hit it like this, all you do is have, you have it like right in the middle and you do it like this. It'll be a lot easier to hit or like this. This mixture, okay. So that's the bat part. The second part is a helmet, and I always have a helmet. And mine is black and white. And a helmet, I was put on. A helmet's better with when you hit, and because when you get ready, you will have like you'll have pressure. So when you go like this. And the ball hits you, it will not hit you in the head. So that's really good. Okay, so make sure you have a helmet. And if you don't have a chin strap and you want a chin strap, because I think it comes separate, but mine didn't come with a helmet. I just put my old one on. And then, again, this is what I probably all never saw softball if you haven't. That's why you're watching my channel. This is what a softball looks like. Why it's dirty. I haven't had a clean one yet. So, yeah. Next thing is 
a um a mask and a mask can help me very good um i think in dls um i have a game coming up and next month well this month actually this month and um and i'm going to probably be on the second base third base shortstop or first base so i need one of these but on my travel team i have it for right field so or any field that needs to be so I had this little face mask. It's about forty dollars, but um, it's not that expensive. It's not expensive, okay. Um, so yeah, it's probably perfect just in case. And then also for the batting things, I do have batting gloves because I like having gloves on my on my hands because um if the, the bat shakes, it won't hurt that bad, and, well, sort of, it'll, it will hurt, but it won't hurt, like, you know, that bad, but it'll probably be better with, like, if you have a, see, mine is, like, a neon color, but it's, like, if you don't want a blister, I think, it's probably for a blister thing, but, yeah, I don't know how much money is this so um it probably depends and then the last thing is a glove you have to have a glove because there has to be some way you have to catch the ball okay so i want to put on my glove and this is called a net and this is where your ball is going to go into so if you go like this that's where it should be it shouldn't be over here it shouldn't be up here so i'm going to throw it up Catch it and go like that. It won't hurt my hand. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is a glove. If you didn't know, this is a glove. I've been using it, so it's been dirty. So, this is a glove. Batten gloves. A face mask. A helmet. And a bat. And a softball bag. So, thank you for watching my video. And I'm going to give this a question of the day. I don't know why I'm going to do this. But the question of the day is what is your favorite equipment for softball? And my favorite equipment in softball is a glove. I love the glove because I love catching a ball and other stuff. So, thank you for watching my video. And... Always like and subscribe. Always, always, always. Um, so, actually, I'll see y'all later. Bye.